Hello you guys, welcome to the 12 days of Christmas Christmas vlogs with me, Annabelle. I'm <laughs> I'm so excited to be doing these videos because Christmas time, as I think I've mentioned in like all my recent videos, is literally my favorite time of year ever. So today is no different. I'm taking long on a vlog. I'm gonna get into what we're doing tonight and everything because we need to get ready and fix my makeup and stuff. Actually, I did want to show you guys this. Starting this a little bit differently. My mom got me in this like beautiful glass cabinet. We keep all of like, almost like a bar cardy type stuff. There's a little light in here as well, which is kind of nice. It's like our massive bar cart, which I just thought was like the cutest thing ever. Um, anyways, kind of random, but, and look, Mr. and Mrs. from 2019. My husband and I got married in 2019. But then I wanted to show you one last thing before we get into this vlog, is these. You need to make a potpourri if you have not done it before because it is basically makes your home smell like Christmas. It's like cranberries, cranberry juice, orange, um, cinnamon, whatever you've got. I did a cinnamon stick and some like Christmassy, like, um, what is that called? Like a Christmas tree, like cutting, whatever. Okay, I can't, I don't even can't talk. It makes your house smell like Christmas and it gives you like the cozy vibe. We're having feta tomato pasta for dinner, so that's why that's there. But yeah, cute Christmas vibes up in here. So, um, it's time to actually get ready because we don't have a ton of time. I swear I never have a ton of time <laughs> whenever I start these videos. So we're gonna wash this face because I put on like barely any makeup for church this morning because we were running late and I'll tell you why in a second. Um, so I'm gonna wash my face really fast. All right, you guys, so let's get ready for what we are doing tonight, which is going to a Christmas concert. We're seeing this like band duo, I believe they were brothers actually, called Shane and Shane. And my husband, Will and I actually, this is our third time seeing them at Christmas. We didn't see them the last couple years because we were living in England, but it's like kind of was a tradition before we moved. We always went to their Christmas concert because they do like Christmas concerts, usually at like a local church too where we live. Um, around this time of year and they have the most angelic voices and we just get to like worship Jesus and you know Christmas is so amazing and if you love Christmas music it's just so fun so anyways we were like weeks ago I think it was around Thanksgiving we were like wait we need to why even earlier than that like in the beginning of November we were like we need to see when they are doing a concert because we really want to go so all the Christmas vibes that are happening but I'm gonna <laughs> I wanted to tell you a little story about why we were late to church this morning. Um, it's not really that drama. Also, we're going to put in a hair extension, so I'll talk through it as I do it. But um, these are the Bellamy Spiced Crimson, by the way, and they look absolutely crazy because I've been busy and not obviously taking care of my hair extensions the best that I could. And my hair is curlier because we went to a wedding yesterday. Okay, this that's the whole story. So we went to a wedding yesterday. One of our really good like family and friends got married, which is so exciting. My sister was in the wedding and her husband was marrying them. So they were like super involved and they just had a little baby, which I think I've mentioned in videos before. So he's like in his fourth month of life. He's like the cutest, sweetest thing ever. Starting off with a two clip, by the way. I think I said these are Bellamy Spice Crimson and I cut these myself, but I'm pretty sure this is like 16 inches. Anyways, or like 20 maybe, I don't know, 18. Gosh, I don't even know. Okay, anyways, um, so I was on like full ant duty last night, hanging out with him, taking, you know, let him take a nap on me at one point, just keeping him happy so that my sister could just, um, you know, be as involved and invested in the wedding as possible because it was her childhood best friend getting married. But it was so amazing. We didn't even get home that late. Will and I literally got home at like 10 and went to bed. We were just like so tired. I have been really tired recently. I think like the being darker earlier, doing more, being more active, you know, staying busy with friends, all that stuff's so good. But I think it like gets to you eventually. So anyway, so we <laughs> had a great time at the wedding. Had a few margaritas, which were so good. There was a taco truck. So this morning we were like, we're not gonna set an alarm because we do just need to rest. And my husband was like gone on a work trip all week last week, so he was tired. Anyway, so we woke up this morning and our church service starts at 10 a.m. and our church only does one service. And so I woke up and I was like, well, what time is it? And it was nine. So I was like, okay, like we have no excuse to not go because 
we only live like 15 minutes from our church. So anyways, I got up, did like a little quick shower of my body and dry shampooed it. You know the drill, put like a tiny bit of makeup on. So, um, and then came home after church and was so tired. That was a two clip that I just put in by the way. Um, just like absolutely, utterly exhausted. So I tried to take a nap and I couldn't. Do you know how annoying it is to try and take a nap, but like your body just like won't let you? Like my mind was too awake or something. It was literally so annoying. So I basically just laid in bed for like two hours, which is probably good and had my eyes closed, but did actually sleep. Anyway, okay, so now I'm gonna put a three clip in. Um, let me just see, kind of look at the length because the one that is shorter always goes first. Um, but yeah, anyway, so that's literally what we did today and then like did some cleaning this afternoon. Got my life back in order, got ready for my week, planned out the videos. So I'm really excited because we're going to be doing the 12 vlogs of Christmas. There may end up being more than 12, but I kind of don't think there will be because 12 is kind of a lot. And each one I'm going to be doing something Christmassy or just bringing along on something fun that I'm doing in my life, whether that's with my friends or family or whatever, and kind of just introduce you guys to more Will and I's life and our traditions because we, um, he's from England and we've spent, I think the last like five or six Christmases in England. We've never really spent a Christmas together in California on Christmas day. We've always ended up in England visiting his family. But since we lived there and we moved back, like we're like, yep, this is the year we spend our first Christmas in California and we get to be with my parents and all that. So we're making new traditions and we want to bring you along. And in my last video where I colored my hair or my second, not my last one, the one before that, I colored my hair um, red with you guys, the current color I have now to so check that out if you want to see that. And I kind of just told you guys more about me and my life and so many of you were like, Oh my gosh, um, tell me more about this or give me the story. So in these vlogs, I'm going to be talking about and sharing more of my life and some of the stories that you guys have asked. So I'm really excited because I, you know, love sharing my life with y'all and I love Christmas. So why not, you know, get to know me more while we're doing Christmas stuff. So yeah, this is the beginning of a fun little journey and ride. So if there's anything you want me to talk about my vlogs, any stories you want, any just, I don't know, anything you want to know about me or Will, international life, international relationships, Christianity, whatever, let me know down below. Um, and I would love to discuss the different things in my vlogs as we get ready for the different events that I will have going on. So anyways, I just placed my last three clip and as you can see, this is like a good amount of hair, so I really don't need much more than that. Um, I wore my hair super tight and curly last night and I wore like 22 inch extensions. So that is why my hair is like curlier because I didn't wear these extensions yesterday. I posted a little like transition video with Will um, on TikTok, so you should go check it out. But I think we'll put it on the screen here. You can kind of see our outfits. It was like such a fun, such a fun look. We, everybody was dressed like super nice at the wedding, so we all just kind of like went for it, you know? Okay, so the hair extensions are in. I think what I'm gonna end up doing is curling my extensions to have a few tighter pieces just so it blends a bit more. It's actually not that bad, but my hair is just curlier. So, and I kind of want it to just, you know, the blend the best that it can be. Okay, so we are going to curl the hair, but I'm gonna put on a little bit of makeup first. As I kind of talked about in my hair dyeing video, was the fact that um, I'm actually a Christian. And some of you guys kind of wanted to know a little bit about that story. Um, and I could do like a whole testimony video for sure in another video, but I kind of wanted to use this video to even talk about, you know, what I believe to be the meaning of Christmas and kind of also the pressure that a lot of us are under in the Christmas season. So I grew up in church. I went every week. I grew up in a Christian church in Orange County. And I went through a lot of different phases with the church of never wanting to go to being, you know, all in. And a lot of that comes down to my experience with Christians, God's uh, people. I'm gonna use the Milani Conceal and Perfect to on foundation, by the way, because it's really the best. But I, know that if you've grown up in church not even just a christian church honestly probably any church unfortunately you probably have experienced 
something not very cool and something that has caused you pain and there's so many varying levels to that of course and that's been a journey in and of itself um, which again, like I said, I can make a whole video kind of on my story and you know the pain and forgiveness and all of that sort of stuff. But I think you know today I attended church. I had mentioned to you guys that we, you know, went to church this morning, and I have found an incredible church that we really love here in Los Angeles, a Christian church, and it's been the biggest gift from God. This is the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Beautiful Bronze. Um, anyways, what I was saying was, is I just remember being a kid and Christmas being so magical. Of course, I believed in Jesus from a young age, but I really feel like my true faith came at a later age. So I think a lot of obviously what I was liking, which is totally fine and normal for kids around Christmas is the Santa and the presents. Oh, that's for our laundry. Anyways, and so I feel like as I got older, I went through this time of feeling sad around Christmas. It went from like my favorite time of year to a time of year that like felt really empty for me. This is Rare Beauty Blush in Bliss, by the way. Anyways, so what was actually happening is I was just aging out of the child Christmas experience, you know? I was becoming an adult, um, going through my own stuff and that Christmas magic felt different. But I think what it really identified to me, it was like, wait, Annabelle, like, what do you, what do you look forward to in the season? Where are you placing your value? Why, why do you believe Christmas is so special to begin with? And it's like, well, actually, no, as part of my faith, I do believe Christmas is special, not because of the gifts or this or that, but because of what it means and what reminder it brings us that, you know, Jesus was sent to us in the form of a baby. He was all God, all man, and he died on the cross for my sins, which obviously that's like, you know, the simplified version of the story. But, um, and actually this is a time to celebrate God's endless love for us and what he did by sending his son here on earth. Anyways, and it's just like, I know how Christmas can feel so overwhelming, stressful, expensive. And what's really happened in today's culture and society is like Christmas is about, you know, what it wasn't ever originally about. And we've made it into this huge thing. Like no matter what you believe Christmas is about, it's been made into this massive marketing for every company, every, you know, hair brand, every this, that, like everything is all about how do I get you to spend money at Christmas? <laughs> I'm now taking the Neutrogena bronzer, but I just want to say like, no matter who you are watching this, um, if you're like, oh, I don't, you know, I'm not a Christian or I don't have the same faith as you, this is like a judge free zone. I'm not going to be shaming you or making you feel bad. I'm simply just speaking as for my own life, my own heart and the things that make me, me. Um, I honor and respect everyone, no matter their beliefs. And although I know that's rare and that makes me mad, that is truly my heart. And so I'm literally just sharing my experiences and some of you guys wanted to hear more about that, but it is just crazy. Like Christmas has become something so wild and can produce so much anxiety and something that I've even been trying to do. Like when I think about presents for people is like, what can I give that's like thoughtful and not going to break my bank or something that's like special. And I don't know, just being less of a consumer around Christmas, although it's really hard. I know like one thing I was even thinking about this Christmas with some people is being like, Hey, like, as like a Christmas gift or like for Christmas, we'd love to like have you over for dinner or we'd love to have you over for cocktails. And it's like time and relationship is so beautiful and so much more important than any physical thing. So like, what does it look like this year to make my Christmas more like that with the people I love? Because that's the stuff that is literally, literally priceless. So anyways, those are some of my thoughts around Christmas and just remembering the real reason for the season. Um, at least that's my real reason and you know what I believe and I'm really excited even just for tonight because going to this like worship Christmas concert It's just gonna be so beautiful and um, I'm just so glad that I get to live somewhere where I can Express my faith and celebrate it But I'm trying to get myself to remember what this year is really about and what it's not about and not making myself feel pressured to spend money in ways that I don't have. And even though on this channel, I'll probably do gift guides because people always want that and different things like that. It's not what it's about. And it's about who you spend it with and about Jesus being born. So yeah, I'm gonna keep doing my makeup. This is just my really simple routine, by the way, guys. Um, 
pretty much do the same thing all the time. Um, I'm a girl, a simple girl. But I'm wearing some lashes. These are from Wink Click, by the way. They're DIY lash extensions, and I love them. And they last like probably for like five or six days of time, and then I can reuse them, which is amazing. So that's what I'm wearing on my eyes. Okay, so I'm gonna curl my hair, but before I do that, I'm gonna go just change my top and my pants. I'm literally in sweatpants and a sweater. I think I'm just gonna wear like a white turtleneck and like jeans, and then I have the cutest shoes I need to show you guys. But I think I'm gonna wear my white turtleneck, so I'm gonna do that before I do my hair. So, outfit change in three, two, one. All right, just wearing high waisted jeans, a little turtleneck from Ross. I put some lipstick on and some jewelry, and we're gonna curl my hair. I'm using my 3 fourth an inch ion curling iron. Linked on my Amazon, literally forty-seven dollars, and it's the best. So I'm filming this to my Instagram too. So cue the cute montage of me mostly just curling my extensions to blend with my hair. Not my best work, but we gotta go, so it's fine. Okay, so we're gonna have dinner together really quickly. We got just our feta tomato pasta, gluten free. Oh yeah. Um, so we're gonna eat and then we need to leave. Okay, so I need to put my shoes on because we're gonna go now. But I had to show you what I got off Amazon. They'll be linked on my Amazon under clothes and everything. I think it's gonna be an early Christmas present. Early? <laughs> well, yeah, from Will. Cause I wanna enjoy them in the Christmas season, but they are like platform Ugg dupes. Will, he I don't back. know about that, babe. Um, I'm gonna wear them tonight. But I actually ordered one and then I ordered it in too small size. So I actually sized up um, half a size. That'd be my one thing. But they are literally, um, yeah, platform Ugg dupes. They are $80, which is obviously still expensive. But um, instead of the 160, which is what platform Uggs are, so that's pretty good. So this is definitely my right size. But like literally they're so cute and they're so comfy. And if you've been liking the trend, they're like in stock right now, but I don't know how long they will be in stock. So let me, right now. Let me just show you my little feet. Yeah, they're so freaking cute. And just comfy. And you look like you got little moon boots on, but it's deaf a vibe and like half the price, but literally look the same. So winner, winner, chicken dinner. We gotta go because we're gonna be late. As per usual. Okay, we're gonna go. Ready to go. This is us. I just put on a little thrifted blazer, my Louis Vuitton that I thrifted Your as well, early actually. Christmas present. <laughs> my early Christmas present. Will's cute shoes. They look so cute too, babe. Cozy, you know me, babe. Christmas cozies. Cute my middle Let's go. People are here ready to worship because... We should have to go back corner, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> We've been looking for a parking spot. Oh. oh and it's awful. <laughs> I mean, hey. Shane, Shane slaps. <laughs> Is that one? No. Hey, that's perfect right there. Oh. Wow, great spot, babe. <laughs> I was like, why did you... Found one. Very that, far away. That's the only one we've seen. Yeah, that's fine. Far away, I'm gonna walk up. One. It's gonna be popping in there, so let's go. Hey, here we go. Christmas in California is Christmas lights on palm trees. <laughs> so cute. To worship Jesus. We made I've it. I've come because I need that feeling that we comes We are quite late. We have a super special night for you, and it's already been a special night. finishing their last song and we headed out to the car because we're pretty tired but they were amazing oh great they're always incredible and um, they had their worship initiative um, what's it called like people who they've signed on to their uh, they have a record label a record label yes people who they've signed to their record label which is like three people so I think they've like gone on their tour with them anyways it's really cool because 
We were saying we've seen them a few times, and the other yeah. times we saw him, saw them, it was a lot more just them, which not like in a bad way, but like as in they were performing. Um, whereas this time, like you can tell, they're definitely like helping shape and bring up these like new artists that are part of their record label now. So that was really cool. So we got to hear them. They started the show, and then Chain and Chain were great, just classic. It's just so funny because they sound exactly as they do in all their songs. Because yeah, it's great. It's like half the time when people are. Um, worship artists or have become well known like for their worship music generally they can sing because the heart behind it like statistically is not to make a lot of money right it's like to worship Jesus so they always sound as good in person because like the heart just to worship Jesus so even when you hear them you're like oh my gosh it sounds exactly like when I listen to their album on my phone or whatever so it was so good but we're tired we're like so tired from the wedding I told them about the wedding yesterday so um, we're gonna head I home know why so tired. I know what has happened to us I I, I think we both feel a bit under the weather. Yeah, like we... Like we're both fighting something. Yeah, like I think our bodies have definitely probably come in contact with lots of different bugs just because everybody's getting sick, like with so many different types of like things right now. So we're just trying to keep our immune system strong. And we want to stay healthy for Vlogmas. <sighs> yeah, for our 12 days of Christmas Vlogmas. So. Oh, wait, are um, we calling it Vlogmas? Or is it, well, oh. it's not Vlogmas, but... Oh. Well, it is. What's days, Vlogmas? It's every day of December. Oh, uh, okay. Um, 12, so we're calling it 12. We'll call it the 12 Christmas. days of Vlogmas. And we'll figure Vlogmas. it out. The title will be whatever we're probably calling. We're gonna head home and have a little cozy, cozy time. So we'll we'll see you. We'll see you there. So cute, babe. Huh? So cute. I know. It's so cute. All right, let's go wash our face and put PJs on. Hey, I don't remember. Can you get the celery and almond butter? No. Are you eating the all of it right now? No. Will. Yeah. Don't eat it all? Yeah. Will, stop eating. <laughs> Save some for me in the moment. Please? And could you get this, can you get this celery as well? The vlog is seeing you not wait for me. The little snake himself slithering over here eating the snacks mm. and shouting at me oh my gosh okay so we've got celery and almond butter because we're healthy girlies over here and then we got this like spinach artichoke dip from TJ. trader joe's and we're eating that with tortilla chips and we're also wearing matching pjs because we are so cute so we're eating some snacks or watching santa claus mm. is that what it is mm -hmm. cute Ooh, Santa Claus. We have a Christmas tree by our bed, guys. I don't think I've ever showed you this. This is our bedroom. Well, all you see is the tree. But we're gonna go to bed. Night. We <laughs> Will gets Will gets so grumpy. But we're gonna go to bed. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more 12 Days of Christmas vlogs because I have an exciting announcement coming soon um and that's all i'm gonna say so you're gonna need to subscribe and keep up to date and make sure you watch along but we had the best little first christmasy date we love you guys so much and we'll see you in my next video